Day after day, new facts about the past, present and future are unearthed. Some of them go into further detail about us, our origin, our minds and our past. The rest of the evidence, especially the astronomical results, adds to the doubt. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at three incredible creatures. The scaly foot snail that lives in volcanic vents. A creature dwells in the bottom of the sea, his exoskeleton impervious to assault. The scaly foot mollusks, which has acquired an iron sulfide shell, is the focus of this section. The fleshy part of the snail's shell, known as the foot, is also protected with iron plates, making the scaly foot snail as metallic as an aluminium foil. It is all thanks to microorganisms which appear to be responsible for the shield's creation. No other organism on the globe is capable of using iron in this way. This is not your usual snail. However, it does inhabit an unusual environment. It dwells in volcanic vents, where water flows down into the rock and is heated by underlying volcanic activity, reaching temperatures of 750 degrees Fahrenheit or higher before melting away and carrying toxins with it. It is a dangerous environment here. Based on the latest Occidental College scientist Shana Goffredi, the scaly foot snail's deadly attackers include crabs and other snails. It's unreasonable because a lot of snails should have the same natural enemies. She clarified, so I do not believe the predatory issues against them are somewhat extraordinary. She continued, however, for some reason, they seem to have bolstered their shells. The top surface of these shells is iron-plated, the lower surface is calcified, and the middle surface is a fat, meaty biological tissue. The iron provides the shell with tremendous toughness, whereas the soft section absorbs the impact of a crab squeezing hard on it. On the other hand, the scales on the foot serve a greater purpose. Many predatory snails attack by using stingers and infusing venom into fish as well as other snails. The iron plate on the scaly foot snail's shell is said to resist the missile, much like a warrior's shield. Two species of scaly foot snails exist, which is astonishing. Rather than being black, the other is whiter. It lives in the very same environment as the black one, but without the iron. How so? Microbes are the ultimate answer, which the black species has, but the white variant does not. They have microbes on and inside them, which are probably assisting to accelerate the creation of those kinds of iron sulfides. After decoding its genetics for the very first time, experts have solved the puzzle of the volcano-dwelling mollusks and its iron shell. As said by experts, the scaly foot snail flourishes in undersea volcanic vents in tough living conditions. It is also the only documented existing creature that incorporates iron in its exoskeleton despite enduring severe temperatures, strong pressure, acute acidity and low oxygen levels. Scientists believe that researching it will reveal the mysteries of how humans evolved and will also reveal its enormous potential for medicine and perhaps other applications. Notwithstanding its distinguishing differences, scientists were surprised to learn that the snail carried no exceptional traits but shared genetic traits with other sea creatures like squid. While no new genes were discovered, studies shed more light on the genetic combination that dictates morphology in an organism. Furthermore, the snail's genetic sequence has remained almost unchanged for most of its evolution, with its shield scales first appearing in gastropods about 550 million years ago. As a result, scientists believe that studying it will yield new insights into the evolutionary process across human history. Pacific Sleeper Shark Volcano Studying the sea necessitates the dropping of pricey devices into the ocean and hoping that it manages to survive. The pieces of equipment are frequently retrieved, possibly with a scratch or more, and every now and then there is a mystery in it, such as footage of a rarely seen Pacific sleeper shark at a spot where none have ever been reported. The Greenland shark is a deep-rooted sluggish fish prevalent in the Pacific Ocean, Atlantic Ocean, as well as the bodies of water between Tasmania and Antarctica. They have gained the appellation sleeper shark because of their sluggish, gliding, minimal level of physical activity and perceived non-aggressive personality. 
Pacific sleeper sharks, which are both predators and scavengers, can glide through the water with minimal body movement and hydrodynamic noise, making them successful stealth predators. They eat by sucking and cutting their prey. They have enormous mouths that allow them to inhale prey, and their teeth chop up any portions that are too big to ingest. When they feed, they make a distinctive rolling action with their heads. As part of their volcano research, Phillips and colleagues dropped video cameras, bait, and lights, an instrument set known as a drop cam, into the deep sea off the Solomon Islands in January 2015. They chose to set up a drop cam around 20 kilometers from Kavachi, an underwater volcano. Phillips, who was financed by the National Geographic Society and the Weight Grants Program, said they intended to explore strange things. The device sank to around 3,074 feet below the surface. After obtaining and accessing the 7 hours and 45 minutes of the recorded film, researchers spotted a large brown blob in one of the clips. When we assessed the data and saw the shark, we started shrieking, the volcano specialist recalled. Phillips had no previous knowledge of sharks, so he sent the screen captures to specialists who could help him identify their unprecedented catch. According to Marcelo Carvalho, a shark researcher at the University of Sao Paulo in Brazil, the animal appears to be a Pacific sleeper shark. The species of a sleeper shark is usually determined in part by its location. Carvalho notes that the three shark species, Pacific sleeper, Southern sleeper, and Greenland shark, have different ranges. Phillips' mystery shark could be the southern sleeper shark, Cavallio speculates, given the Solomon Islands' proximity to Australia. Southern sleepers, on the other hand, are typically lighter in colour than the one in the video. The mystery shark has the same colour as a Pacific sleeper and has longer gill slits than a southern sleeper. Carvalho's best assumption is that the volcanic scientists captured footage of a Pacific sleeper shark around the Solomon Islands which would be the species' southernmost sighting ever. Thermophiles Yellowstone Yellowstone's hydrothermal features are stunning examples of the planet's volcanic activity. Surprisingly, they also serve as habitats or microscopic organisms known as thermophiles. Thermo refers to heat and phile refers to lover. Microorganisms were among the first organisms to emerge on Earth, and their descendants can still be found in severe high temperature and in some cases acidic conditions like Yellowstone. Their story demonstrates ecological principles and how geologic events may have influenced biological evolution. The geothermal properties of Yellowstone support microscopic life. In geothermal features, Thermophilic ecosystems emerge and flourish in a variety of ways. In the fast-moving water in runoff channels, some species create long, flexible structures known as streamers. Some thermophiles can also generate carpets or tiers of archaeal and bacterial colonies, which are specifically adapted to the carpet's temperature and humidity characteristics. The appearance of thermophilic bacteria and archaea which are single-celled microorganisms, is sometimes brightened by chlorophyll activity enabling their heat sensitivities to be discriminated against. Many biologists are now studying the thermophiles of Yellowstone National Park. Some of these microbes are connected to the first forms of life capable of photosynthetic activity. But what do you make of these three strange creatures? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.